previously on The Link Show. You have to open the jar. Whoever what? opens the jar first wins. Go. Done. Apparently, I wasn't allowed to use the tablecloth. <laughs> Done. Woo! The rules didn't state that I couldn't use tablecloth. Who do you think should have won, Cece or Miguel? Head to thelinkcrew.com to have your live vote. Plus, send us a reason why you think Cece or Miguel should have won. And we're going to read those out next week on The Link Crew and you. But right now, back to The Link Show. Today on The Link Show, we're continuing our series on forgiveness. And we're learning about David and Saul. We have another animated Bible story. And another challenge for you. All that and more. Are you ready? Let's, Let's get linked. linked. <laughs> Welcome back to The Link Show. Again, we love having you guys here. So, are you ready for this week's question, Miguel? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready for the question? I am. Okay, the question is, what is your favourite movie? Oh, um... It's a hard one. It's a bit of a difficult one. I'm a Disney gal, mm. so I think it's either Moana or Encanto because the music in those oh, movies. The new is, Disney movies. The, I yeah, I love the classics, but the music is just stepping up, and I love it. It is stepping up on a whole new level. Mm. I do like Disney movies too, but we want to hear what you have to say. Send in your shoutouts, your answers on the website, and we'll read them on the Link Korean You video. But for now, let's go see Buckles Preach Part One. Okay, so we're in the middle of our series talking about forgiveness and we've looked at different situations where we might need to forgive others and we've looked at the fact that forgiveness isn't just about the person we're forgiving, it's not just for them, it's actually good for us to forgive as well. And so today we're looking at another story in the Bible of someone that had to forgive someone else and it was actually a really rough situation and so before we get to that I want to tell you a similar situation that I faced in my life. When I was a little bit younger I was still an adult, I was at work and while I was working somebody at work told others lies about me. They were telling other people something about me that was not true and the word started to spread around and people started gossiping and it created a situation where I was really hurt and I didn't know what to do and so everything in me wanted to go and start telling lies about that person as well making things up and trying to gossip to get back at them I was like you've lied about me you've hurt my feelings you've made other people think something about me that isn't true I am going to do the same thing back to you. And for a couple of days, every day, I'd get to work upset and angry at this person. I just wanted to get back at them. But then I remember going to work a few days later and I was speaking to one of my other work colleagues and I was sitting down and I, I said to them, because it was a person that I trusted, I said, I feel really upset that this person has said these things about me that are not true. And I remember telling my friend, everything in me just wants to walk around and, and start telling lies about them as well, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it be cuz I know the right thing to do is to be kind and forgive even when other people are mean to us. And so I was sitting down with this friend at lunch and I was telling him how I was feeling and he said to me he goes, "Buckle, what are you talking about?" I said, "Well, so and so has been telling other people about me this thing that's not true." And he said, "Buckle, everyone knows it's not true." And I was like, "What?" He said, yeah, he's been telling people, but they don't believe him. They know that what he's saying isn't true. They know who you are. And he said, I was chatting with somebody else earlier today, and they even said that they were surprised how well you were handling it, that you weren't getting upset, that you weren't walking around and telling lies about them. You earned respect from the people here because you chose to do the right thing to forgive and not retaliate. And I was like, really? And he said, yeah, that's that's what's happened. And so over the next couple of weeks, the other people started coming up to me saying, Buckle, don't worry. We know what that person is telling us isn't true. And we're really impressed with how well you handled that moment. And so in that situation, I could have reacted. I could have let my temper and my anger get the better of me and made a decision out of anger. But instead I made a decision based on what I knew was right. And from that, not only did I end up better off, but I actually earned the respect of the people in my workplace. Now, the story in the Bible that we're going to look at is a very similar situation that we've got these two people and one person has been telling lies about the other and is actually actively trying to hurt this person. We're going to see how he responds and we're going to see what we can learn from that as well. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. 
this has to do with something with the game, right? I wonder. All right, now, producer, what, what, what are we doing with the, the alien mask? What's going on, guys? What, why am I here by myself? What's happening? Okay, for today's game, it is points-based. You will have to wear the blindfold, and you will be given a box filled with items. What you have to do is you have one minute to pull out as many yellow items as you can. If you pull out any items that aren't yellow though, you will lose three points per item. Are you ready? No. <laughs> this sounds terrible. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a stitch up. <laughs> oh, it's a big bucket. Oh. What in the heck is this? That feels like a dinosaur, but from memory, it's green and orange, so not the dinosaur. That's a dinosaur. He ain't yellow. A frisbee? A frisbee could be yellow. Oh, this could be yellow. Chicken? A book. Oh, it's pretty risky for me. Oh, all right. Orange or yellow? It's a ping pong ball. Oh, it's a chicken! Yes. Are you yellow? Nerf gun, yellow. Oh, it's a super, ooh, or oh, Batman, black bat, nah. Ping pong balls. Oh, it's another dinosaur. Ping pong balls. That's skipping rope. Ping pong balls. <laughs> a football, a football could be yellow, it could also be red. Like, I feel like that's risky business. More ping pong balls. Ah, okay, we'll go with the clock. Oh, this could be a sun. Jump sticks? Um, yellow. Ah, sorry, okay. A screwdriver. <laughs> oh, a little digger truck. Please remove your blindfold. Look at your items. Okay, I didn't do too bad. Okay, the Nerf gun's definitely orange. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we reveal this week's winner, let's take a look at an animated, animated bubble story. This is David, the same David that defeated Goliath and would go on to become the king of Israel. But although he's been anointed to become the king, he's not king yet. King Saul is still in charge and is jealous of David's success. He knew that the people loved David. The story of David defeating Goliath had spread across the whole land. And so Saul became jealous. King Saul gathered his army and set out to capture David. And so David and his men ran and hid in the wilderness and in caves. One day while David and his men were hiding in one of these caves, Saul and his army passed by. But Saul needed to stop to have a break. And so Saul walked into the very cave that David and his men were hiding in. David's men whispered to him and said, now is your chance. We can end this now. And so David snuck quietly to where Saul was. But David knew that he shouldn't hurt God's king. And so instead, David took out his knife and cut off the corner of Saul's robe and went back into the cave. Once Saul had gone back outside and rejoined his army, David came out and revealed himself. David called out, King, why do you listen to those who tell you that I am trying to hurt you? David held up the piece of fabric that he'd cut from Saul's robe. Today, I spared your life because I will not lay a hand on you, because you are God's anointed. When Saul realized what had happened, he felt sorry. He said, David, my son, you are more righteous than I. You have treated me well, even though I have treated you badly. And so Saul gathered his army and left, and David and his men traveled on. How crazy in this story that we've got David, who's been anointed to be the future king of Israel. Earlier in the Bible, David was anointed by the prophet Samuel, where Samuel said, David, you are going to be the future king of Israel, but you're not king yet. It was still Saul that was the king. And Saul felt threatened about David. And so instead of trusting that God had a plan, Saul 
believed that David was trying to hurt him and so started telling people that David was out to get him. And not only that, Saul used his power to bring the army together to go chase after David to try and hurt him. And we get that moment in the cave where it's just David and Saul. The people with David are like, go, hurt him back, retaliate. But David says, no, it's not my place. My place is to show love and kindness. And through that moment, I can imagine that he gets there, he cuts off the edge of the robe, Saul walks out, David comes out after him and says, Saul, I have repaid you kindness, even though you were trying to hurt me. Can you imagine what all of the other people must have thought? Whoa, David could have hurt the king, but instead he chose to do the right thing. You see, the people around us watch the way that we live our lives. And so when things go wrong, which they always do, everyone has bad things happen to them. Do we let our temper and our anger take control and do we retaliate or do we instead show kindness and compassion to that person? You see, that's the choice that we have to make. It says in the book of Proverbs in the Bible that smart people, wise people control their temper and they earn respect by forgiving others. You see, last week we learned that we need to forgive because it's a commandment from God. It's something we must do. That God forgives us and so we also need to forgive other people. It's a commandment God gave us. But on top of that, we also learn that when we show kindness and forgive others, we actually earn the respect of the people around us. It also says in Ephesians, it says, stop being bitter and angry and mad at each other. Don't yell at one another or curse one another or be rude, but instead be kind be merciful and forgive others, just like God forgave you. And so when things go wrong and maybe someone hurts you or lies about you, you can either retaliate and let your anger take control or you can choose to forgive and still show kindness. One, because like we learned last week, we have to, it's a commandment from God. But two, people see who you are. What sort of person do you wanna be? Do you wanna be seen as the angry person that always retaliates? or is the kind, compassionate person that always tries to do the right thing even when other people won't? I know the sort of person I wanna be, and I suppose for you, you need to make that decision for yourself. That was such a good message, Buckle. It really was, but you know what? I think it's time for us to see who the winner was. Are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? Producer. Oh, let's find out. Miguel grabbed three yellow objects Mm. and 10 non-yellow objects. Okay, on my defense, I genuinely thought they were kind of yellow. That's all right. Yes, ping ping pong balls are not yellow. No. Okay. They're, They're like mini suns. So just so you know, you got a point for each yellow, but you lost three points for every non-yellow object. Yeah. So you're I'm like negative, negative 30 something. or something. <laughs> CC yes. also grabbed three yellow objects. Wow. And five wow. non-yellow objects. Wow. Oh. CC is the winner. That, that was a tricky challenge. Was, yeah, how do you feel the color yellow? That's my question. I'm three on the leaderboard. You know what, you're actually doing surprisingly well. What this, is this? Is this, again, producers, ugh. Again, challenges actually, that like. To be fair, that was actually my fault, this challenge. Like, But like, they're not challenges that's any skill. It's, any... No, it's actually hard challenges. You know what, we actually encourage you to do some of these challenges in your classroom. Do it. Or at home, obviously supervised. But see how well you go with trying to Feel the color yellow. Feel the color or any color that you like. I love how we learned that even though Saul was trying to be mean and hurt David, mm. David didn't retaliate. He showed kindness instead. And that we can be kind to others even when they're mean to us. But that's all we have for you this week on The Link Show. I'm Miguel. I'm Cece. And I'll see you next time on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. See ya.